The Astronomy plugin for Unreal Engine lets you easily calculate planet and star positions and do other astronomy calculations from inside Unreal Engine. You can do things like recreate the night sky from any historical time or point on the Earth, use the most realistic sun and moon angles to see how the sun will affect your architectural visualization model, or easily model the solar system with planets, comets, and spacecraft. The Astronomy plugin uses very high precision ephemeris and will consider everything from gravity light deflection to atmospheric refraction to provide very high accuracy for stars and planets. The plugin comes with many astronomical calculation functions for advanced users, but also helper blueprints to make it easy to create celestially accurate sky positions from a point on Earth. For example, let's recreate the sky over Epic Games headquarters on September 4th, 2014, the day Unreal Engine 4 was released. For the Sun, the plugin comes with an assistant sun blueprint that will control the Unreal default atmospheric light source. Just drag the BP Sun Earth View blueprint onto your level, set your latitude, longitude, time, and light source, and that's it. Next, do the same thing for the BP Moon Earth View, and the sun and moon blueprints will work together to calculate the moon phase and lighting. North is along the x-axis, so you can see the sun setting toward the west, and the moon visible in the southeast on that day. Now let's change the time to later that night to look at the star and planet positions. First, I'll change the sun and moon to 10 p.m., which is 2200 in 24 hour time. And hitting play, and now we can see the sky is dark and empty except for the moon. Positioning the solar system planets works the same way as the sun and the moon. Just drag the BP Earthview distant planet blueprint into your scene and set which planet each blueprint represents. Also set the time and latitude and longitude information. On Earth at night, you can see Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. I'll drag a distant planet blueprint for each of those planets onto the scene and select which planet each one represents. Hit play and you can see each of the planets at night now. Notice how they are lined up along the ecliptical plane. Now for our last step, we'll add stars to our scene. You can drag the BP Star Manager onto the scene, set the location and time information, and if you want, you can also set which blueprint to add for each star. Now we'll hit Create Stars, and the Star Manager blueprint will add a star at the correct location. Hitting Play, we can see our completed night scene now. In the example project included with the plugin, you can quickly enter different latitude, longitude, and times to see how the sky looked, as well as experiment with the three different types of planet ephemeris included with the plugin. For example, here is how the short days would have looked in the far north for the first sailors exploring the Northwest Passage in the spring of 1851. You can really get a sense that you are on top of the world as the sun, moon, and stars are rotating almost horizontally. You can also use the plugin to model solar system objects from an in-space perspective. In the example project, you can see the solar system, Earth's rotation, and Earth's moon. Of course, this is not the scale, otherwise the planets would need to be much smaller or the distance between them much longer. You can also plug in any object ephemeris that is in NASA's SPK file format. For example, for this cone-shaped object, I've added Voyager 2 spacecraft data. You can see it here as it does a gravity slingshot around Jupiter in March of 1979 and proceeds on its way to Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing what you create.